In the spring of 1926, Selmer had made enough small adjustments and improvements to the instrument to validate a new model. So accordingly, they replaced the Model 22 with the Model 26. It was much the same instrument uh, with some key improvements and some other minor adjustments. Production by this time had increased to about 1,500 instruments per year. They were ramping up quite nicely. So the Model 26 started around serial number 4,400, uh, a little later for the C melody around 4,800, and ran up to about 8,000. Throughout the Model 26 run, the most popular instrument was still the alto. The soprano was next most popular, but interestingly the C tenor, or C melody, had declined a little bit in popularity and the B flat tenor became the most popular instrument. Next in line was the Model 28. Now this is a little bit confusing, so we'll take a minute just to, to get through it. The Model 28 was only stamped on the altos. There are two types of Model 28. For the first half, the Model 28s were simply a Model 26 with a new number stamped on them. For the second half of the Model 28, it was a radical redesign. They increased the size of the bore, and they improved the key positions, they increased the number of keys. Selmer Paris was not yet putting lacquer on the instruments. That did not happen until a little later. So most of the instruments were silver plated in one form of an, or another. There were a number of opportunities. You could have a, a flat silver plate, a sable silver plate. You could also have gold plate, and they also had a nickel plate. Some instruments were also sold in bare brass, but I, that was a very small number. The vast majority of instruments were silver plated.